Hi, guys, heating up, isn't it? Um, yeah. We see this every You're day now. Everyone now is, yeah, that's it's going to be our, our next topic of conversation for the next year. Yes. Um, what I love, though, at work is when you can tell when it starts to get really hot, we have like an outside car park that's yeah. not shaded at all. All of a sudden that becomes incredibly empty. <laughs> and then you kind of swoop your eyes to the other side where there is covering and everyone is jam-packed, sardined in. Like oh, people are trapped. They can't even get to the cars and get it out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's when you know that it's really starting to warm. It's funny the things that people do, isn't it? How you have mm. to change your psyche actually yeah. of, of when it's hot like you get the car w- ready for you you get mm. it cooled down i always get paranoid i've got enough water in the car in case anything <laughs> happens to me <laughs> you know i'm always like that but you, you do start to change like when you go to the supermarket you're like oh i cannot park far away i, I have to be at the door <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know and you do definitely change your way of, of acting in yeah, this weather don't you, you? but differently. you see you can tell we're british we're talking about the weather yeah i know it's, it's what we habit. like to do it's the best terrible. it is but anyway summer is upon us obviously now this doesn't mean that it can be an excuse to not exercise. Mm-hmm. Because Damn. some people do this. <laughs> they do this. But, you know, exercising in the heat obviously can come with superb uh, cautions. So we're going to talk about that today. So I'm not even talking about a marathon here. I'm talking mm-hmm. about just regular exercise in the heat. So typically our bodies are actually warmer than the, than the environment we're in. Okay. So when that begins to change, our muscles regulate heat by releasing sweat which allows our body to cool down something i'm going to mention here is i had someone say to me oh i'm happy to sweat because i'll lose weight Mm. now i'm going to mention this sweat is not losing weight sweat is our body's way of coping to cool our system down it's very dangerous if you're in a heated environment and you don't sweat yeah there's something wrong okay this is probably heat stroke heat, heat exhaustion But when your body sweats, you lose liquid to cool you down. So you lose water. So effectively, I suppose, you've lost weight. weight, But it's not... But it's not fat. It's not the kind of weight... The minute you drink, you're putting it back on. So if you go into a sauna, this is a good example. You go into a sauna, you sweat it out. Great. You feel like you've released toxins or something. But you drink water, you replace the fluid as you should. You haven't lost weight. You don't you don't do these kind of things to lose fat. So that's pretty important. So when our body sweats, we're losing fluid. So you need to replace that, yeah? So heat exhaustion and heat stroke are dangerous side effects of overdoing exercise in the heat. And they come when the body can no longer sustain the pace or that heat and the loss of fluid, basically. Mm. One of the most dangerous times to exercise is in a hot and humid environment yeah. that is us we're living in that it's not humid <laughs> yet but there is a level of humidity that's in the air and um, once we get to that awful august stickiness yeah. it's really dangerous to actually exercise outside without the proper hydration it's hard to walk outside let alone yeah. really exercise i mean you can exercise in august here outside mm. provided you are able to hydrate yourself i've done a boot camp before in august here I was able to do it, no problem, because I took a huge one and a half litre bottle of water and drank it as I exercised, and I drank after. I'm not going to lie, I didn't feel so good for doing it. Mm. I felt a headache and I didn't feel so good, because you're effectively pushing yourself. That's if you're physically fit already, if you've got real endurance and fitness behind you. If you're new to exercise, no chance. That is Mm. not a good time to start exercising. So, you know, like I said before, if you become hydrated, it's really dangerous for your body and it really affects your central nervous system and the side effects um, are quite worrying. So the signs of heat exhaustion actually include general fatigue, nausea, dizziness, muscle cramps and an increase in your body's temperature an inability to sweat and then some respiratory distress and can even then cause a loss of consciousness. Okay. These are similar to signs of heat stroke. Yes, yeah, I was going to say, when you've seen people on holiday yeah. who perhaps have spent too far and long in the sun yeah. and they just become completely overwhelmed by it yeah. all. And believe it or not, the two words are very similar. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke. Heat stroke is actually the one that's deadly. Yeah. Okay, heat exhaustion is you're pretty just whacked from the heat. But actually, if you have heat stroke, you could go into basically unconsciousness Mm. this is the kind of thing to only look for if you've been exercising or you've been lying outside in the sun for sure yeah but not if you're inside and you're just feeling a bit tired it's normally after you've been out in the heat for a long time so i don't want to scare you off because we are going to do a show specifically about heat stress 
heat stress is both of those heat um, stroke and heat exhaustion we'll do a separate show about that towards the end of may into june and um, as it gets really really hot but this one today is more about summer tips you can still exercise but just to be always thinking about the water do ne- never forget to carry a water bottle with you so Here's some some little, you know, you don't have to abandon your workout then. Some little tricks for you then. So first of all, check the temperature, yeah? Find out when the temperature is going to be the lowest part of that day. I love to walk my dog. I can no longer walk him in the morning now. Mm-hmm. It's too hot. So instead I have to walk him at night. So you have to change your schedule. Yeah. Maybe you've been used to doing something all year round if it's outside. You've got to change it now because you've got to make it valid for you, yeah? So check the temperature and find when it's going to be the lowest, probably at night time so, or really early in the morning, but probably at night for most of us who have jobs and are busy. So try to exercise then and fit in your exercise You know, at that time. You don't have to abandon it. And invest in the correct clothing. So lightweight, breathable clothes are a must. If you're sweating and clothes are sticking to you, what happens? Your sweat cannot evaporate. This is not a good thing. You're not cooling down then because the sweat is stuck to you and stuck to a t-shirt, not evaporating off the skin to cool you down. So make sure that you really invest in proper clothing. They'll pull moisture away from your skin, okay, which helps you feel cool, like I said. And if you're outside in the sunshine, maybe you should wear a hat just to keep um, the sun off your head and your face, yeah? take a cold shower it might seem odd to take a shower before your workout but obviously if you cool your body down before you exercise it's a bit like being in the ac isn't it standing in the ac for a while and then you, you get a bit warm so let your hair be wet if you've got long hair you can leave it wet wet hair is quite nice to keep your head nice and cool yeah and if you have short hair you can carry a water bottle with you and you'll see people running squeezing yeah, water bottles <laughs> over their head and... i've always wanted to do that i didn't yeah. even get to do it when i did the half marathon oh, i know i did kind of I look spluttering all over the place <laughs> shaking in my own face. Yeah. no it makes you look super fit doesn't it you're downing yourself in water as you keep on running <laughs> throwing the bottles to the sides <laughs> but no you can definitely change up your workout as well so on super hot and humid days choose cooler activities okay So summer isn't exactly the best time to be pushing yourself, setting a new challenge. I'm going to do the 5K at the Corniche every day Mm -hmm. in the height of summer. Why? (laughs) Why are you doing this to yourself, right? It's we've got to really be careful here and not be too hard on ourselves so instead you can split your workout into two workouts a day to make it a little bit less or just take it down less time you can still exercise just not to that intensity change your exercise take it to the water go swimming yeah or cycle where there's a breeze on your skin all the time or take your exercise indoors yoga indoor exercise classes we don't really have to do everything outside anyway there's a lot of opportunities here to stay inside whilst you exercise and slow down your pace yeah if you're set and getting a 30 minute workout done move with less intensity okay or do less intervals so you're still doing your 30 minutes but you're just not doing as much to effectively kill yourself you know um and again, like I've said before, you've got to drink plenty of water, not just outside, but also inside as well. That AC is blasting at us. It's dehydrating us. So remember and, and take note of these tips that you can still move. You can still exercise. Be kind to yourself. You mm-hmm. might feel slower, even exercising oh, inside. Even coming, I came back from holiday feeling, uh, I think the heat difference just from being away for a good yeah. month, uh, you know, and it was 10 degrees hotter makes things just much more difficult your body is kind of resisting you uh, more and that's literally just walking around and doing day-to-day things feel more difficult so exercising is just it's just something else and and like I said it's not an excuse you don't have to give up exercising Mm. but you have to manage it so like I said take the swimming pool in the morning or in the night not in the hottest part of the day use common sense drink plenty water to stay cool take cold showers to stay cool work with an AC so if you're in a gym and there's no AC it's not the best exercise environment because effectively you're working against you're running uphill then aren't you you're working against something that's just not happening for you you need to stay cool because your body won't respond in a nice way if you don't so you have to take heed of that and if you do start to feel any symptoms that you may feel have come from exercising in the heat or exercising without any water then you have to stop your exercise immediately and seek help if you need it yeah and I, what I always like as well is have a have a fresh coconut in the fridge when you get home. Yes, that's the best because it's great for hydrating. Absolutely, it's get got great electrolytes. electrolytes and, yep, mm, definitely. Any, any excuse, and uh, it's natural. Yeah, tasty. Do one of those. Really now. good. I know. We, can, we need them. On, we need them <laughs> on demand. <laughs> we need them on demand. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much. You're once welcome. Again. Uh, we're going to catch up with you again on Monday. Yeah, and we'll uh, speak to you then. Yeah, thanks yeah. for coming in. Thank have you. Have a good week. Bye.